In this tutorial, we're going to look at the keyboard and some of the uh, options that you have available in it. I'm just going to um, click in my screen here, and if you look down at the bottom right-hand corner here, there are some white lines that allow you to split the keyboard. If I, if I touch that, it'll give me the option to split the keyboard. And if you like two-thumb typing, you can do this in this fashion. Or with your two fingers, you can just move them together and join the keyboard again. If you want to move that keyboard down, you can uh, simply uh, tap it. So I'm going to touch in my, uh, in my screen here, and I'm, I don't like the keyboard in the middle of the screen, so I'm just going to tap those, those uh, three white lines and hit dock again to move it down so that I can actually see it. So in my, uh, my keyboard, with, which in, in this case is the English Canada keyboard, I uh, have many options for the keys. So if I go over to, for example, this one and hold it down, I can get this uh, quotation mark. And if I slide over to the next key, I've got uh, an apostrophe. And if I go to the E, I'll have all of these options for the E in the French uh, language, or the I, or the P. Uh, and, and that's uh, one of the options. If I go over to the numbers and look at those and press that down, I get many options for the uh, quotations or arrows. And just if I want to choose one of those, just slide your thumb up, slide, or slide your finger up to that particular one and release it. And you can see that it appears in the keyboard or in your uh, typing space up above. So if I go now over to the symbols, and I've got a number of symbols here, and go, let's go over here to this one. Pull that down. I've got my options again. Pull this one down. I've got my options. If I want to choose one of those, I simply just go up and select it, let my finger go, and it appears. So those are some of the uses that you can use with your keyboard and symbols.